In this video, we're taking a closer look at how to add Google Maps to our content. Let's start by creating a new playlist. Let's call this Google Maps. Let's open the playlist. Before we start adding anything to our slide, let's head over to Google Maps. Google Maps is commonly known for its maps and navigation from one place to another, but in reality, there are many cool ways Google Maps can be used in digital signage. Let's take a look at all the different maps we can create. One of them is Transit, and Transit gives us information about public transportation. With Transit turned on, viewers can view public transportation options to help them plan the best routes to get where they're going. Traffic is similar, viewers can easily check how traffic is moving and if their route is congested. Biking gives the viewer a quick overview of bicycle trails, dedicated bicycle lanes, and even roads that don't have a bicycle lane, but are recommended for cyclists. Terrain can give the viewer an idea of altitude in an area. Street view indicates all the known roads that have been scanned by Google. Wildfires show all registered wildfires and can be used as guidance when traveling to any destination. And lastly, we have air quality, where viewers can easily monitor areas for poor air quality. In this example, we're going to do something a bit more simple. Let's zoom in on San Francisco. Click the menu on the left and then Share or Embed Map. In the pop-up, choose Embed a Map. We only need the URL, but in Google Maps, we're going to use Copy HTML. Let's go back to our editor. We'll find the website plugin in the top menu. Let's maximize the plugin. In website, we're going to paste the HTML we copied from Google Maps. But since we only need the URL, we're going to remove this part at the very end and this part at the very beginning. Make sure the URL starts with HTTPS and ends with a quotation mark. In this example, we're also going to turn on Force Cache Busting and refresh periodically. Let's preview our playlist. Since this is a simple map, there is really not much that changes. Had we added a map with traffic, we'd see the content constantly changing. The plugin checks for changes based on the setting, refresh periodically. Thanks for watching.